Hello guys, in this video we will talk briefly about pull up and pull down resistors. Some of you may ask, what are those? Well when we're using a port pin as an input instead of an output, they become very useful. So my question to you is, when using a port pin as an input, what are we interested in? Some of you may have had an answer and if you didn't, here it is. We are interested if that pin is high or low, meaning if it's a 1 or a 0 respectively. In other terms, if that pin is tied to a voltage of magnitude approximately to 3.3 volt or ground. Of course, this is going to vary depending on the microcontroller. Since we're using the MSP430, it's going to be 3.3 volts. If we were using maybe an Arduino, it'd be 5 volts, which is uh, considered a 1. And of course, there's many ranges to that. So now let's continue. Sometimes you could get an inaccurate reading at that pin due to external noise and such. So we must always know if that pin is either high or low. So a pull-up resistor does just that. For example, if we want to know every time a button goes low, we would like to always keep it high in order to prevent buggy functionality. On the other hand, if we wanted to know every time a button transitioned from low to high, we would like to have a pull down resistor that would always hold it at a ground potential till the button was pressed. So now let's take a look at this picture. On the top, we have a pull up resistor tied to a pin on a microcontroller. So this microcontroller might have been coded in such a way that every time the pin goes low, it goes into an if statement and does something such as turn on an LED, close some curtains, or even alert you via text message when an event has been triggered. Let's move on to the pull down resistor, uh, which is the red one on the bottom. This is the opposite of the upper one, so every time the input goes high, it could trigger an event and it will trigger an event, depending on how you code it. Let's keep in mind that the MSP430 uses high logic on its onboard button which means that the button is always tied to 3.3 volts so you will need a tie to ground if you want to trigger an if statement or an interrupt routine which we will talk about later this is an important subject to understand in order to avoid funky functionality with your MSP430 you must always enable a pull up or a pull down resistor on an input pin if you want to avoid future headaches like always, there will be links in the description with information regarding this topic. I will try to upload new videos every Thursday and Saturday. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.